Assalamu alaikum beautiful people. Oh, I know it's been a while. My name is Malik Stelly and welcome back again to our YouTube channel. If this is your first time, kindly make sure to subscribe. So this is day 11 of the Ramadan. Yeah, it's been 11 days since the Ramadan started and a lot has been going on. So now I want to share with you some of the things you need to know whenever it's Ramadan in Qatar and also the best time to travel into Qatar. So follow me. Let's get into today's vlog. So this is definitely not the right time to visit Qatar. Uh, for whatsoever reason there are so many reasons why one would want to visit Qatar some might, might want to come to Qatar just for um, vacation others might also want to come to visit families which also falls under vacation but majority uh, most people do come here to work and um, during this time it's not the best time to come for work now is is the best time for people living in Qatar because around this time working schedules are being reduced I mean working times are being reduced so I for one I usually work seven to eight hours in a day but during Ramadan it's been cut to you know or it's been reduced to four to um, five hours in a day which you know um, goes well for people living in Qatar but for people who want to come now this might also go down as a question well like people would want to know that okay since people are not working full time like um, duty times are being reduced what happens to the visa processing and stuff like that now if you want to come for visiting or you want to just go through your own process it's not going to be that um, tedious it's still going to be like the same manual um, the same number of days that it will take to process your visa but then if you are working with a company and let's say a company wants to process your visa then it might take quite some time because around this time companies do not work full time just like I said so basically that is all I want to say and also the times to visit Qatar now Qatar as we know is not a big country it's not that 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 huge and um, trust me you can use just three days to tour the whole country believe me just three days if you plan well if you plan properly three days should be enough for you in Qatar you can be able to tour almost all over the place so currently Ahmad Musharib is um, one of the beautiful places in Qatar here anyone who lives in Qatar knows Musharib and how to navigate your way around so guys hold on I've seen something here I might just want to show you around the mosque all these people over here are lined up for food now this is an act of charity during Ramadan and uh, food is being shared to citizens over here just to help them break their fast and I see this almost um, all around every mosque here in Doha I don't know who is doing this but i'm pretty sure this is not the doing of the government i'm i'm sure it's just um individual um charity work so they sometimes share food to people that are fasting you can see them line up over there i don't know if it's right to get closer to them but yeah that is how things work over here okay guys so now we are back at sukwa Kif. now uh, if it's not ramadan you would literally find this place full um people are all the seats will be very much occupied people are having food all kinds of food both international and local um foods can be purchased or can be served over here but since this is ramadan you can find the place is almost empty now let me give you a story last two years a friend of mine from the uk visited qatar during this same time and he did not know about the rules over here we had to drive like five kilometers or let's say 15 kilometers from his hotel to go have dinner at a particular restaurant just for us to get there and we're told that we could not have the food at the restaurant we could only have takeaway so we could only have the food packed for us to you know take it away but he was like yo i drove from my um uh, hotel just to come have um food over here but because it was ramadan he wasn't allowed to eat at the restaurant before 6 p.m so uh, you need to be aware of all these things before if you want to visit Qatar. Now, let me tell you, you can visit Qatar at any time, but I would advise you to visit during summer, which is from um, July, the best summer or the worst summer. Do we even have worst or best? I'm just saying summer over here starts from July sometimes, and this is when the country gets super hot. But if you're somebody that, you know, wants to experience that heat, then you could visit Qatar during that time. But aside from that, if you want to have a good time i would suggest that you visit qatar during um it's summertime i mean it's winter times which starts from um which starts from november so around november to february january february 
yeah that is the best time and even march yeah because now we are in march and the weather is still very much um pleasant it's not too harsh it's not too you know hot not too cold it's okay i'm feeling a little bit heat here and there but it depends on where you where you are because now i'm at Tsukuaki. there are a lot of um restaurants here cooking so you know hot ovens and stuff like that so definitely this place you're not going to find that cool breeze yeah so um just like i was saying during ramadan also people who are fasting also tend to get sensitive most of the times because these are people who are you know um are fasting their truth is dried um they haven't had any food to eat and they are they are most of them will be spiritual people you know what i mean so uh, what's going on here so i think there's an interview going on over here all right so let's continue so like i'm saying the best time to visit qatar should be in in winter times do not visit um during summer because it's not the best time even summer after 6 p.m you wouldn't find people outside here because it's still blazing hot you know what i mean so summer times i wouldn't advise people to visit qatar but uh, if you are coming to qatar to work then i guess you do not have much of a choice you would still have to come and work but if you come in on a leisure if you come in for vacation i know people go on summer vacations but please don't come to don't come for a summer vacation in qatar it's not advisable unless you just want to experience what everyone else is running away from that's the harsh weather condition so now guys let's focus back on the ramadan so we're just waiting for 6 p.m for prayer and then people will start eating. qatar is a very beautiful place it's a very beautiful country just like i said from the beginning you can you can literally tour the whole country within three solid days to start eating so i'm like <laughs> so the can yeah, just... okay guys so this is something that they usually do during ramadan so there's going to be a big blast out of that cannon over there and we're still waiting for it to go boom so So guys, we still here. That was the blast. You saw how heavy it was. It was crazy. I wasn't really expecting it. It just went off, boom, and then you know everyone is scattered. So now you can see it's now six. I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see now. People are enjoying their food. People are eating, and this is this is the best time to have conversations with people who are fasting. This is the best time to start laughing with people because during you know fasting times, people don't really want to engage themselves in conversation so that is just all about that i hope i've shared uh, much information if you have any other question you can ask them in the comment section but until then uh we're still gonna stick around let's see if i can take a few shots as well okay guys so now people just break their fast everyone can publicly eat so before this time no one can eat publicly you would have to go hide somewhere and eat your food you either eat indoors there is no way you can have your food um, eating outside during Ramadan time and no restaurant would even allow you because in that case they would be putting their you know their business or their job on the line and thank you for being part of today's video my name is Malik Sterling kindly make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and I love you all bye I'm out